Hey, what's up? This is laid back Luke, DJ and producer, Kung Fu athlete, and family guy. Okay, so right now everyone is streaming and you've probably thought about streaming as well, but how do you get this to work? Okay, so what is it that you really need? What are the things that you should think of? And how to finally get online and start streaming that proper audio and video. In this vlog, I'll tell you how, from my experience, here we go. So do realize that I am absolutely not a pro at all in streaming. Actually, this is all brand new to me. But what I noticed trying to figure this out is that there are a lot of technicalities that come with it. Therefore, I decided to make this vlog to make it a little bit easier on you and tell you exactly what you need to get a simple stream started. Okay, so obviously you can make this setup as complicated and as expensive as you want. But because this is something new for me too, my setup is simple and cheap. And I know ordering things right now is a little bit of a pain and a wait. So I could absolutely recommend you to try and use the things you have currently. And all this because all of us are currently stuck in quarantine due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I'd like to give a shout out to the comments from a last time's vlog, my coronavirus versus the DJ industry vlog. Shout out to DJ Scotty C on the number two comment. And back on the number one comment is Nick with a shout out to the EDM community. Thanks to everyone for commenting. I see them. I love reading them. And please feel free to leave a comment down below for me to see. All right, so here's what you will need exactly. Here we go. And so what do you need? A computer, a DJ setup, a sound card, a camera, and a tripod as well. And obviously the wires that are needed to connect the video and audio to your computer. Okay, the DJ setup, in my case, it's the Denon SC6000 setup, but you can use any controller or setup that you want. As far as the computer goes, make sure you have USB inputs. In my case, it's Apple, so to connect my equipment, I need some dongles as well. My sound card is a very cheap and simple one. It's this one by iRig. It takes a signal from my line output from my DJ mixer and goes into a USB connector which I connect to my computer. But it also comes with a lightning port cable connection to go directly into my phone. I had originally bought the sound card to get perfect sound out of my DJ mixer for Instagram Live use, for instance. But our event last week wasn't on Instagram Live. We hosted a live stream on Twitch as part of our quarantine series. We invited unknown talent to submit their 15 minute DJ live sets, which they got paid for as well. And Ethan Leo, Aya, Nuevex, and Mero managed to earn a spot on our virtual party lineup. I was absolutely blown away by the many amazing and creative sets that we got sent in, 234 to be exact. If you missed our stream, make sure to check the link down below. And so you were all able to vote for your favorite set and we have a winner. I'll announce who that is at the end of the vlog. So make sure to stay tuned and see who won that number one spot plus a brand new Denon DJ Prime Go. Okay, so missing a fancy streaming camera. This is what I use. It's simply my mobile phone. The back camera has a great quality and you're pretty much guaranteed that it will be focused on you constantly. I attach this with a long wire into my laptop. The tripod, it's always handy to have a stand to put your phone on. I like to recommend the phone being set up horizontally because possibly people are viewing the stream on their TV or computer and you'll get more screen coverage or more screen real estate when the phone is horizontal. I use this cheap phone holder for that. Under there is a little section that allows it to be screwed into a tripod. The tripod I use is one of Ashley's photography tripods. It's a big one. The beauty of it is that you can set it up really high so, can, so people can still look onto your decks while you are playing. But any tripod will do, big or small, just as long as you can stick your device on there. To connect your phone as a camera device on your computer, you will need to download the app OBS camera. It's 15 bucks, which is relatively expensive for an app though. I heard there's cheaper and free apps too, which you could possibly Google. But the OBS camera will connect seamlessly with the OBS program on your computer, which I'll tell you more about very shortly. 
Potentially you could connect a mic as well if you'd like to speak or host tutorials and whatnot. I myself don't use a mic when I DJ so I have no info for you on that at this very moment. Laid back Luke the DJ that never speaks while he's playing music. I prefer letting the music speak. And speaking of music we dropped two Mix Mash Bold releases and we released a new Connor Ross track on our main Mix Mash label, this time in collaboration with Roses. And speaking of talent, besides producing, DJing and playing guitar, Connor Ross is even singing on this track himself. You can find all the links down below. And don't go anywhere, we're about to stream. Let's do this. Okay, so with all this connected to your computer, I've moved my computer to be close to the setup and the camera. It is time to download the OBS computer program. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. And to be honest, I was a little bit confused and thrown off why we need OBS in the first place. I couldn't help thinking why it couldn't be as easy as Instagram Live, especially using my phone as the camera. Well, it seems OBS is a super handy and safe program after all. Over here, you add your devices. By clicking the plus, you can see your computer inputs and add your camera and sound card right there. There's an option to add multiple cameras too and OBS can crossfade between them automatically. I still need to check this out. Over here, you can see volume sliders as well, so you could even potentially use your inbuilt mic. Now, these buttons right here are the important buttons. You can record your set or you can start streaming. Before you can start streaming, you need to have a stream key though. The stream key is essential for any platform you'd like to stream from, it being Twitch, Facebook or YouTube, you need to have a stream key. This you can paste in the settings right here and so now you are ready to go. I put my phone on airplane mode, made sure my Wi-Fi was working and I quit all other programs. As soon as you hit that start streaming button, you're on. And you can even check that by opening your browser and checking the link to the site. Do note that this is not the stream key but here you can check if it's actually working. And it is here as well where you can see the comments coming in. So I guess you can see OBS as a, a DJ mixer where all the signals come in and you can arrange or manage them there and OBS will send them out to your streaming platform. It is actually a very handy, straightforward and professional system. A handy platform even and we've even made a fun little platform for you now. Make sure to stay tuned, I have more streaming advice for you but we've made some quarantine entertainment for you. A fun quiz. Do you want to discover your mix mash alter ego? I'm very curious which artists you are most alike. Love eating spicy food all day, every day like Lady B? Or are you not a fan of listening to music while you work out just like me? Find out by clicking the link down below and don't forget to share your result as well. Okay, some essential tips right now, your surroundings. Another thing I think is important is to make your surroundings a little bit more interesting. Here's some simple things I use for my stream. We got some Mix Mash branding going on where Ashley printed this Mix Mash logo out on her Cricut and stuck it onto here. I had a Mix Mash bag laying around which I just pinned to the wall. It's right here. I also use this simple party light in the background. It was $8 and we had original bought this for a birthday dance party for my daughter. There's various settings on here as it comes with a remote control. But usually when I perform we bring a USB stick with my visuals as well and I figured I could just move our TV into the background and stream my visuals through Ashley's laptop through QuickTime, connecting it to the TV through Apple TV via AirPlay. In total, it's a five minute clip, so I put it in a loop in QuickTime. And so to see the lights and the visuals better, but also to give it a little bit more of a club feel, I close our windows. And then on the performance side, I have some tips as well. Yes, it is awkward if you are used to a crowd and reading a crowd to be performing in an empty living room. But don't forget, there's a crowd out there that is watching you and they are all bundled up in your little tiny iPhone camera. So just imagine what you'd like to see if you were tuning in, but also think there's actually a big crowd in front of you. 
how would you be DJing? Would you be real timid? Or would you interact and feel and dance to the music you are playing for them? So don't be shy, don't feel awkward, enjoy yourself a little and have fun. And I'm certain that our winner is going to have some fun on the Denon DJ Prime Go. Our winning live stream mix mash quarantine set is... Aya, congratulations. You did a great job and it looked and sounded amazing. Thanks to everyone who competed and joined in as well. Make sure you join into my next vlog next time by hitting that subscribe button right now. And if you think this video was helpful for your streaming, make sure to hit that like button as well. Also, if you're an experienced streamer and you have some advice for us, please share it in the comment section below. Okay, stay safe and stay inside everyone. We're almost there and I will catch you on the next one. Until then, L's up, rave safely and salute.